So your carbon footprint is essentially a measure of how much carbon dioxide and methane is produced so that you can maintain your current lifestyle. And don't think just because it's cold outside, there's no such thing as global warming. That's like saying, I've had a sandwich, so there can't be such a thing as global hunger. And so the carbon footprint is normally converted into tons equivalent of carbon dioxide, since uh, methane is 30 times more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. So what can you do to reduce your carbon footprint? Well, fly less. Flying produces lots of carbon dioxide. Eat less meat, especially beef. Cattle have enteric fermentation that gives out a lot of methane. They fart a lot of it. And have less or no kids. Nothing will increase your carbon footprint more than having another human being on the planet. Unfortunately, some religions frown upon population control and vegetarianism. Next up, you could lag your house, insulate your house properly to stop heat loss. So you won't need as much fossil fuels to keep it warm. After that, if you change your hot water boiler for a new efficient model, that's going to have another big dent on your carbon footprint, as is changing the light bulbs to LEDs from expensive incandescent. This will reduce the amount of electricity used, and a lot of electricity comes from the burning of fossil fuels. What can you do to reduce your carbon footprint actively? Drive less, take alternative transports, walk or bicycle. And hell, just don't buy as much stuff. Your house is probably full of stuff you don't really need. You can reduce your carbon footprint by planting trees. They will absorb some carbon dioxide. You could also change your energy provider to one that has a low carbon emission. For example, wind power, solar power, nuclear power, or even hydroelectric dams. But of course, all of those comes with pros and cons too.